Uh, Carissa, the question for you is, what are some of the strategies I can use and share with my family to keep our stress under control? Okay, Carissa, over to you. Michelle, that's a great question. I'm going to just run through a couple of strategies that you could use and share with your family to help you to manage your stress um, in these trying and uncertain times. Number one, create a schedule. Everyone does better with structure. So whether that looks like a day timer or an electronic calendar or a big fun wall mural that you make with your family, um, put things down that need to get done. Some things probably need deadlines and some other things need limits like screen time. So make sure that you've slotted in all the things that you would like to get done or the things that you feel that you need to do on a regular basis but have kind of forgotten because normally you have a different system um, and create some new systems to help you to feel like you are still being able to get through your day productively and constructively given all of the different challenges that we're facing right now. Make sure that in that schedule you are making time for you. So whether that's actually marking into one of the boxes, now it's time for working out um, or time for yoga or time for a hot bath or coffee breaks, making a cup of tea, just sitting by the window, maybe spending a little bit of time with your furry friend or having time to read a book. These are all things that you could do to help to um, make sure that you've got a little bit of me time for you or you time for them because you can't be all things to all people. They all need to have something that they can do to keep themselves occupied as well. Uh, Self-care, we have to remember, is not selfish. To paraphrase Brene Brown, we cannot give to others what we cannot give to ourselves. So you need to take care of you in the healthiest ways possible to make sure that you're able to continue to do the things that your um, family and loved ones need you to do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Number three, explore different healthy coping strategies. So maybe things that you've not tried before. If you've never journaled, give it a try. Get a book, write down something that you're happy that you accomplished that day, um, something that you plan on trying to accomplish tomorrow, something that you're grateful for, and something unexpected that happened that was, you know, maybe neither good nor bad, but just you didn't know that that was going to happen. And it was kind of one of those neat things that I want to make a note of that. You can maybe even join an online community of some kind. There's a really great one called hashtag stay at home and draw yeg where you get a daily prompt on something that you can draw. So it's anything from what you see when you look down to what you see when you look out the window to things that you remember from when you were growing up. So there's really great posts and lots of awesome pictures that people are creating and sharing and it's just fun to do something that's totally out of the box maybe for some of us. And number four, and I'm going to stop at number four, is go outside. Uh, it might not look or feel like spring yet, but it's getting there. So when you can, and so far it's not off limits, the parks may be <laughs> sealed off with yellow caution tape, but outside is not. So go outside and get wet and splash in puddles. And if there's snow, make snowmen or have a snowball fight. Don't throw snow at strangers. I don't recommend that. But make a fort, do things that will maybe spruce up the neighborhood, do some chalk art in front of your house or anywhere, put an impromptu hopscotch somewhere to encourage others as they're walking and just get outside and soak up all the nature that you can. You get to shovel, they get to pat the snow into walls. It's a win-win situation for everybody. One of the things that is a great stress reliever is to go outside and jump in the puddles. If in the midst of all of this you feel that you're just not able to kind of get through on your own with these or other suggestions that you might have seen or heard, uh, we definitely always encourage our military members and their families to access the CIFMAP line, which is, if you haven't got that number handy, 1-800-268-7708. It's just literally a phone call away. Someone will get back to you right away and help to connect you to the resources to help you right now get through all of the things that we're trying um, really hard but may find our resources just aren't able to help us 
manage and that's okay too. So hope these four tips give you some ideas of what you can do and um, stay tuned for other things that we can do to manage our stress better in the future.